Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this presentation, let's focus on two different operators in SQL. Any and all operators in SQL. At first, let's start with the operator any with a theoretical understanding. What kind of output this any operator is going to give? It's going to give or return Boolean output. I mean, the any operator returns Boolean output. Obviously, the output is going to be either true or false. It means that the condition will be true if the operation is true for any of the values in the range. What do we mean by this? It means any operator expression is going to have a condition and that condition will be true because it's going to return a Boolean output, right? And that's why the condition will be true only if the operation is true for any of the values in the range. I know things will be difficult for you to understand. Don't worry, I'm going to explain this with an example. For now, just understand the condition will be true if the operation is true for any of the values in the range. Let's see the syntax, how to use this. The syntax is select column. We can use any number of columns from the table. Select column from table 1 where column operator any. See how I am using this operator any between column and an operator any and I'm going to have a subquery here and this subquery is obviously going to be evaluated. Here if you observe there are two queries. One is the auto query. Another one is the inner query. Now this inner query is going to be executed and this inner query after it is executed it will return some values and these values are going to be used as a condition here. Can you see here the condition is where column operator any with these values. So the condition is going to be true. Which condition? This column operator any this condition is going to be true if the operation is true. I mean this operation is true for any values in the range that is returned by this inner query. No worries, as I already mentioned, we are going to see example that time it will be clear for you. Now, what are all the various operators that are supported? The operators are lesser than, lesser than equal to, equal to, greater than equal to and greater than. In case you want to use not equal to, you can still go for not equal to operator as well. Let's see the example query. But before that, I would like to bring these two points to a new slide. Here it is, the syntax and the operator list. Let's see an example now. Example number one, select star from teachers. Is this the right example? No, we have just used this part. Select column where I want all the columns and that's why I have used an asterisk here or star here from teachers table one. Now let's see this part which is important. Where age, can you see where age? The column name is age. And what operator I'm using is equal to, is equal to any, which is the keyword. And there is an inner query, select age from students. Here is a valid example. In order to execute this example, we should have two tables, teachers and students. Where teachers is the outer table and students is the inner table. Let's see the table now. There are two tables, students and teachers. Let's bring in the query here. Select star from teachers, where age is equal to any, select age from students. Actually, the inner query will be executed first or this subquery will be executed first. So, students table will be executed. It will give all the values, right? Age values. The values are 23, 42, 32, 23 and 40. So, here it's going to contain 5 values, 23, 42, 32, 23 and 40. Now, for each of the rows in the teachers, it's going to validate the condition. The output is going to be ID, name and age because all the columns from teachers, which means ID, name and age. But I have only one value here. Why? Because I'm just telling whoever's age in the teacher, which is matching with the age of the student. Can you see here 32 is matching with only one person, which is Alia here. And that's why this row is appearing in the output. Let's see the other values. 43, nowhere 43 here. 29, nowhere 29 here. 30, nowhere 30 here. 41, nowhere 41 here. And the only matching value is 32. So whoever is having 32, 
anyone who is having 32 in the teacher's table, those output is going to be returned. And that's why any operator is used in this situation. Anyone whose teacher's age and student's age are the same because I'm using equal to. And that's why we are getting this output. You may be asking how students and teachers age will be the same. Let's just assume this university is offering work integrated learning program kind of things where this university is offering courses to people who are working in the industry for a long time. And teacher who has just graduated might have just joined this university. No matter what, we are still having the provision to achieve the desired results. Let's step into example number two for which I'm going to use the same teachers and students table but now I'm going to use a different operator. Here, the same query, like the previous one, select star from teachers, where age, the previous query we used is equal to. But here, I'm going to use lesser than any select age from students. So obviously, all five ages are listed here. Now, anyone who is having an age lesser than these values, those rows will be returned, but the rows from teachers because outer query is teachers. So the output is going to contain many records. Can you see here 32 is there because 32 is lesser than at least some of the values here, right? It's lesser than 42 and it's lesser than 40. So obviously 32 will be listed. Let's take this row 43. Is this 43 lesser than anyone? No. So 43 will not be there in the output. Let's say 29. Is 29 lesser than anyone here? Yes, it's lesser than Robin, lesser than Alia as well, lesser than Ravi as well. At least one person should be there, right? Since 29 is lesser, this row is also appearing. What about 30? Yes, 30 is lesser than anyone. So 30 is also appearing. 41. Yes, 41 is lesser than 42. And that's why we get four rows in the output for this any operator. I hope things are clear to you. Now let's move on to all operator in SQL. In the previous case, it should be anyone or any. But here it should be for all. That's the difference. No worries, I will explain the things now. The all operator also going to return the Boolean output. But the interesting thing is that it returns true if all of the subquery values satisfy the condition. It means the output is going to be true if all of the subquery values satisfy the condition. In the previous case, any one value was checked. But here, all the values should be checked. Don't worry, I will give you an example, then it will be easy for you. Let's see the syntax now. The syntax is select column from table 1, where column, operator, this time it's not any, this time it's all. And there is an inner query, select column from table 2. Like in the previous case, the operator also has the same set of operators like any. Lesser than, lesser than, equal to, is equal to, greater than, and greater than, equal to. Let me bring in these two to a new slide. The syntax and the operator. Let's see an example. The example is select star from teachers, where age is greater than all, and there is an inner query or subquery, which is select age from students. In the previous case, when we used any, we got a different result. Now let's see how this all is going to impact this operation. In order to execute this example, we need two tables, teachers and students. Let me bring in the teachers table and the students table here. The same values. Let me also bring in the example query. The query is select star from teachers where age is greater than all, select age from students. When the inner query is executed, it returns 23, 42, 32, 23 and 40. So all these values are here. Now the output is going to be from teachers where age is greater than all of these values. What is the value in age that is greater than all of these value? Is it 32? No, because 42 is here. 32 is not greater than 42. Is 43? Let's check. 43 is greater than all of the values in the subquery or in the inner query. Yes. So the output is going to contain 43. What about 29? Definitely no. Because 29 is lesser than 42. We want it should be greater than. So 29 will not be there. Similarly, 30 will not be there because 30 is not greater than 42. And 41 also will not be there because 41 is not greater than 42. So the output is going to contain only one row which is 2, 2, 43.
which is 2, 2, 43. I hope the example is clear to you. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. The question is, take the same students and the teacher's table. But the question is, select star from teachers where age is less than all select age from students. So in the example, I use greater than, but in the homework question, it is lesser than. And tell me in the comment section, what will be the output of this query? Remember, the output here, I have mentioned three lines or three rows. Just think about it. Will you be getting three rows or any other? I'm expecting the right answer in the comment section. Please note, the execution of this condition should be for all the values. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.